Learning Construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, welcome back to learningconstruction.com. My name is Ernie, you knew that. And uh, thank you for coming to uh, another construction video. In our past video, we were talking to our good friend Ron, who was teaching us a really nifty trick on how to make uh, grout samples. So, or how to take the samples of the grout and place them into our into our sample forums. Now, some of you may be wondering, why do we need to make samples on the grout? And the answer is very simple. As the grout is the concrete mix that will be creating the strength in the wall and it's going to be placed inside of the cells, it's going to have to reach a certain point of compression per square inch. In other words, it's going to have a determined PSI. So some walls, uh, depending on the use, depending on the design of the walls, only require to have 1500 PSI, other walls require to have 1800 PSI. Um, in our case, since this is a retaining wall, we are actually requiring to have 3000 PSI. So anything that is above the standard, uh, for example, the standard is 1500 PSI, it's going to be requiring a compression test and that is the reason why we're making these cylinders. These cylinders will test on the field the grout that we're using and we're trying to match the conditions on the field meaning temperature time that the concrete was poured the mixture in the concrete the water content and etc that is the reason why these tests are being performed in the field now the inspectors will know exactly how to take the samples and I'm just giving you guys the contractor perspective of why it has to be done and why we're doing it so as you can see here uh, Rob is, has taken the sample uh, from the middle portion of the concrete truck now this is really important for them they don't take the samples from the starting part um, or the last section of the concrete. They, they literally take it from the middle of the truck. You know, as as the conc as the truck is as as the concrete is coming out of the the, uh, the uh, truck, he will wait to where is on the middle part of the mix and pull his samples from because this will be the most accurate reading. Once this is done, uh, he will start placing the samples inside of the cells and recreate basically uh, the uh, vibration by pushing it with a piece of rebar and what he's trying to do is he's trying to avoid having any type of air gaps on his sample and it's trying to make it as even as possible so it's matching what we're achieving on the retaining wall that we're working on and that's it folks uh, once again Thank you very much for watching the videos. Uh, special thanks to Rob. I really appreciate your help. And uh, I have a question for you guys. I've been getting a few emails, so here's a question for you. Where do you guys think I come from? Put the answer in the box below. And let's see, let's see who actually knows where I'm from. And uh, I'm going to post it in a future video so, so all of you guys know. Thank you. Bye.